Hi, for this recording, I'm going to show you the effect of conjugation in SN and how many R in SN such that R, P, R inverse equal to P and how to find R. Let's look at an example. Suppose P is a 4 cycle, 1, 2, 3, 4. What is R times P to R inverse equal to? This we call it a conjugation of P by R. And how does it look like? Let's look at the calculation. If P is a cycle 1, 2, 3, 4, then P will send 1 to 2, and 2 to 3, and 3 to 4. Let's look at the effect of R times P times R inverse. Now, if we apply to R1, image of 1 under R, then because we know R inverse times R is 1, so you have this is R times P times 1 as R inverse R1 is 1. Then where is P1? P was sent 1 to 2. So you get R2 now. So in the end, R times P times R inverse send R1 to R2. Now you repeat this argument. You expect that if P is 1, 2, 3, 4, P will send 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 back to 1. Then RPR inverse will send R1 to R2, R2 to R3, R3 to R4, R4 back to R1. That RPR inverse is actually a 4 cycle, R1, R2, R3, R4. The thing about this conclusion is this, conjugation preserve cycle structure. So for example, if P is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then RPR inverse will be R1, R2, R3, R4, R5. They are 3 cycle and 2 cycle. Alright, so this is 3 cycle and 2 cycle. And you also have 3 cycle and 2 cycle. Now how many R are there so that R P equal to P R? That is R P R inverse equal to P. Where P in this case equal to 1, 7, 2, 4, 3, 8, 6, 5. Know that if I have write P equal to 1, 7, 2, 4, 3, 8, 6, 5 using the above argument, then I will have R1 is 1, R7 is 7, Right, R1 is 1, R7 is 7, R3 is 3, R8 is 8, R6 is 6, R5 is 5. And follow this argument, R2 is 2, R4 is 4. So in fact, what is R now? R is actually identity E. How about write another way? Now P, although it's 1, 7, 2, 4, 3, 8, 6, and 5, it can also be written as 7, 1, 4, 2, 3, 8, 6, and 5, since we know that 1, 7, and 7, 1, it's the same. And we know that 2, 4 and 4, 2 are the same. So using this argument, now R1 is equal to 7 now. R7 is equal to 1. R2 is equal to 4. R4 is equal to 2. Alright, so I have this 4 number. And R3 is 3. R8 is 8. R6 is 6. R5 is 5. So now, I know how does this R look right now. It says 1 go to 7, 1 go to 7, 7 go to 1, 2 go to 4, 4 go to 2, 3 go to 3, 8 go to 8, 6 go to 6, 5 go to 5, and this is a cycle 1 to 7, 7 to 1, 2 to 4, 4 to 2, and the rest fixed. So this is how you find R. Then, how many possible cycle representation of P? give rise to R, we know that for one particular cycle representation, you get one R. Now P is 1, 7, 2, 4, 3, 6, 5. But there are many ways to write P in cycle notation. For example, you can write 7, 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 5. You can write 7, 1, 4, 2, 3, 6, 5. You can 1, 7, 4, 2, 3, 6, 5. Or you can interchange the two cycle, 2, 4, 1, 7, 3, 6, 5. 2, 4, 7, 1, 3, 8, 6, 5. 4, 2, 7, 1, 3, 8, 6, 5. 4, 2, 1, 7, 3, 8, 6, 5. Right, there are 8 of them only. 
can also change 386 to 863 or 63. Change the 386 to 863, change the 386 to 638. So all together, if you have R, P, R inverse equal to P, so you have 24 different ways to write P, and so there are 24 different R in this case. So there are P, R inverse equal to P. Finally, let's try again how to find R now. Suppose I write P as Instead of 1724386, I write 2471638. Then I will have, first of all, the 1 go to 2, 7 go to 4, 2 go to 7, 4 go to 1, and 3 go to 6, 8 go to 3, and 6 go to 8, and 5 go to 5. If you write this in two line form, R1 is 2, R7 is 4, R2 is 7, R4 is 1, R3 is 6, R8 is 3, R6 is 8, R5 is 5. In second notation is 1 to 2 to 7, then 4, close, then 3 to 6 to 8 close and 5 no change and this is one way to find R and that is the end of the recording